test test all right good morning so i guess you will know um what we'll be unboxing um today based on the title of the video yes uh it has arrived uh i've purchased this a week ago and it took a, a week for it to be shifted from china all the way to malaysia uh this is the znt um, fit pro all right Alright, we will take the box out from the packaging. Okay, let's put that aside. Out of the box, we will get a user manual, um, a warranty card, and a lucky draw and instructions in English and I believe this is Hindi I'm not sure I don't I, I, I don't know Hindi yeah all right let's put that aside and here we will have the main unit all right we get to this later Yeah, just some sponge foam, pretty nice quality too. And what we will have is a USB cable, the usual one. Not sure if you can see that. And a bunch of um, earbuds and. Okay, so let's get to this, the main thing. Alright, so to open this, I believe it's just a push and pull. Alright, then we'll take all this out. Alright, that's all that's in the box. Okay, let me just read out on how to use this and I will come back to you. Alright, so we'll be showing you on um, how to pair this device. So. All that needs to be done is turn on the Bluetooth. Oh man, I don't think you can see it, but yeah, Bluetooth is on. Alright. Take out the earbuds. can as you can probably not see hang on yeah okay you can see it all right so just select the ZMT air fits pro pad And we are done. That's how you pay. Now, okay, so let me get this back up here. Alright, so once you have paired the device, it's going to be on uh, stereo mode. To change it to mono mode, what you need to do is just um, put back the right side into the case and you'll be back to mono mode. One thing um, that was stated is that uh, in terms of microphones, it's only available on the left earpiece, not the right earpiece. So it's a mono uh, microphone, right? So if you put it into the case, you will notice the light turns on. This means that the case, the charging case is charging the earbuds. And at the side here, you'll be able to see it blinking. So um, based on the instruction, uh, how many blinks indicates how much charge you have left inside this charging case. So, four blinks means uh, seventy-five percent to hundred percent. Pretty nice, actually. Oh, pretty nice. You see, if you if you actually take it out. All right, the lights turn off. 
it will keep charging. Uh, so basically, uh, it will charge till it's full, then the lights will turn off. Alright. And we'll be moving on to test a couple of things with this e uh, earpiece. Alright, so test one. Okay. I think there's lost connection. All right, is the NTS Pro uh, test two? How far can it go? Disconnected. All right, so the NTS Pro, how far can it go? Test two. On how? See how? See how? Or how? Five house. I see connected. All right, Zanti F it's Pro Test One running. Been running for about two kilometers. Still stuck to the year. Um, it feels okay. I would I'll do a voiceover. All right. So we have done two tests uh, with the ZMT Epic Pro. Uh, one will be on the distance. Uh, as well as on the uh, stability, whether it sticks to your ears or not. Alright, uh, okay, so I'll take a, down a few notes here. So, one of it is that um, for the distance, um, we have actually walked about 45 meters away, uh, that's about 150 feet, uh, 500 meters away, and the connection was still there. But, however, uh, realistically, um, it should not uh, go that far. Why, why we managed to get that far is because we have a clear distance that's nothing in between but uh, if, if um, say for example in a, uh, in a real day-to-day um, -day usage all right, you, you may be able to get by by going to another room but not two rooms away whereby there will be two walls so you will get disconnected that way all right? Um, in terms of the stability, how, how, how good it is um, sticking to the years. So um, I've ran a total of uh, 4 kilometers, but uh, it was still in the, in the years. It did not feel like it was loose or anything. Uh, pretty good. Uh, I think by far that's the best uh, earbud I have um, tried in terms of whether or not it stays in the years um, during uh, exercise or any physical activities, all right? Um, okay, I am not going to go into the quality of the audio, all right? Reason being is that uh, everybody has different uh, expectations uh, when it comes to the audio quality. But however, to me, this is more than enough or should I say sufficient for me. Uh, the bass is there, the treble is there, everything is uh, crystal clear to me. However, my ears may be different from others. So I won't comment much on that. Um, yeah, one thing that uh, I see would be on the rubber piece. Okay, so as you can see, there is two um, two metals over here. This is for the charging. All right. So what happened is that. Um, after using it, it seems that the rubber will actually move to one side or the other. Alright, uh, can't seem to get it to move. Oh, okay. Something like that. Alright, 
So it will be blocking part of the part of the metal here, part of the contact here. So when you put it back, it doesn't charge. So uh, it's, it's just small metal. I mean, you can just um, move it back easily. All right. So um, another thing to note is that this is not a sponsored content or neither was this actually sponsored by anybody. This was purchased using my own money. Uh, just because I want to use it and also I don't see much review uh, in English online and for this, that's why I'm doing this video. Alright, so I think that's all for me today. Uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, go ahead. Uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.